Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over making a bubble chart in Excel. Um, bubble charts are pretty neat, and I've seen them a number of times used quite effectively. If you're a fan of TED.com, then you'll want to check out some of the uh, presentations made by Hans Rosling. He uses some really impressive uh, programming in bubble charts in order to express his, uh, his data, mostly related to populations and mortality of various countries. So I wanted to try something in Excel, and this is what I've got. Let me go ahead and clear this chart so we can see it from scratch here. So I've set up some simple data. I've got several countries. I've got several uh, numbers here that represent, let's say, income per capita, um, education level on a grade level, and some population. So basically, I've got three data points or three data values for a particular country. I'm going to go ahead and click Insert, Other Charts, and I'm going to do a bubble chart. I have a blank chart. I'll go ahead and choose Select Data, and I'm going to create a series. So I'm going to add a new series. For series name, I'll simply just put in country for now. For series X values, that'll be my horizontal axis. Um, I'll go ahead and select a range of cells that will represent education. For my Y values, vertical axis, I'll select a range of cells that represent income. And for the bubble size, I'll delete that and I'll use the obviously the amounts for population to represent bubble size. The bigger the country, the bigger the bubble. I'll click OK, click OK, and this is the start of my bubble chart. I really don't need a legend here, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll go ahead and choose one of the uh, kind of the 3D looking bubble effects that we have. Now to label my bubbles, I mean by the way, it's it's working here. I can clearly see that based on my data set at least there seems to be a trend or a correlation between uh, education and per capita income. I can see where the largest country is versus the smallest country and whatnot, but it, I don't know which country is which, so they do need to be labeled. So I'm going to show you a manual way first, and let's go ahead and uh, I can right click on any of my data series here, there we go, and I'm going to add data labels, puts data labels right next to them, and what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and click on any one data label at a time here. I'm going to do this one at a time. Here's my first one. It's for my country with a uh, grade level of 4. I'll go up to the formula bar, type equals, and simply click on that country name. And then enter. And of course I've changed the label and I'll do this real quick for the others. There's country 2, and last but not least, equals, and country 1. Okay, so I've added some labels, but unfortunately that's a very manual process, and although it didn't seem so bad since I only had three countries, you know, what if I had 50 countries? Now it's becoming a very tedious process. So for another technique for labeling, I'd like to experiment with a more automated way, and I'm going to use a particular add-on. So went over to Apps Pro and they have a free labeler add-on for XY charts which also works for bubble charts. So got the description here and there's an option at the bottom of the page to download the XY chart labeler. Got that downloaded. It's an EXE file installed on the computer. So now I just need to tell Excel about it. So I'm going to head over to my file menu. This is Excel 2010. And I'll go to Options and then to Add-ins. Now the add-in I want is not currently listed on here, so I have to go and browse. I'm going to manage my Excel add-ons. I'll click the Go button. Add-in is not here, so let me browse for it. Now this add-in that I just installed, it's, it's on my computer. Let's see, C Drive, Programs. It's made by uh, Apps Pro. There it is. Chart Labeler. There we go. So now that's included. Click OK, and now to give it a try. Okay, so now that I have that added installed, I'll just go to my data labels and delete them. And just so we can see here, if I were to right click and add data labels again, notice it's not giving me the correct information, so I'd have to manually fix that. So let me delete those data labels. I'm going to head over to, let's see, let me make sure my chart is active. I'm going to go to my add ins ribbon. And I see that I now have an option for XY chart labels. Let me go ahead and click on this. I'm going to add my chart labels. Select a data series to label. Uh, yeah, country, that's good. 
uh, select a label range. I'll simply select the cells that have my country names. Uh, where do I want them positioned? How about, uh, how about right below? Let's try that one. Click OK. There we go. So now I've got my labels for my country. So whether I have three countries or ten countries or however you're going to be using your bubble chart, using this add-on is pretty good. So this is over at appspro.com slash utilities slash chartlabeler.htm. It's a free add-on for Excel.